hello, everyone. Isn't this stage just amazing? Yes. Let me turn on my computer for a sec. Oh, uh, hello. There we go. This stage is absolutely fantastic. And I know what every single one of you are thinking right now. How cool is it to be doing this? It's actually really, really cool. Let me show you. DJ, do you have something a bit fun that I could dance around to? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, hello everybody, and welcome to Nordic JS. Thank you. Now I know what everyone's probably thinking. I'm out of breath after doing that. Whew. And you're thinking, that was cool, but who is this guy, right? He's not Robert Nyman. He's not the keynote speaker. And he doesn't look like any one of these fabulous people. So you probably know this if you went to the Nordic.js website. This is Johnny, Martina, and Johannes. Whew, that really winded me. OK. And I'm not any of them. I'm merely a puppet today. But what you didn't know is that in this picture, if you just went a bit to the right, I was there the whole time. <laughs> That's me, Daniel Beauchamp, and I'll be your host for the next two days. Now you might be wondering, why am I the host of this? Well, the legend goes a bit like this. Three months ago, when all three of them were sitting together saying, we need a host, first they said, we need someone with a last name that sounds really, really Swedish. <laughs> we need someone who knows Swedish culture, who really embodies it, knows our cultures, knows our traditions and our whole heritage. And finally, we need someone who's a hero, a real Scandinavian hero who can represent the Nordics at this lovely conference. So I have to say thank you so much for picking me to be the host. I really enjoyed finding this picture online, especially because as I was Googling it, I was like, huh, is there a Captain Sweden? Yes, there is. What? <laughs> I really like how he has like tape to hold up his cool sunglasses. <laughs> and knowing Marvel's schedule, this is going to be coming to theaters of June 2017. Woohoo! So, I am, I'm not Swedish, but I can come pretty close. Here's some proof. This is me building my first Midsummer Maypole all by myself. That's pretty awesome, right? And, if you haven't noticed already, I am wearing a knickebred. <laughs> so come on. I really hope I've earned your trust. But I've also hoped I earned the trust of all the live streamers out there. So I want to say a big hey, hey to everyone watching on the live stream. I wish you were here today, but hey, you know, you had better things to do. Um, did you know like, how lucky we are today? The same team that was in charge of the live stream for the Sochi Olympics, broadcasting the Olympics to Sweden, is the same team doing the live stream today. That means it's the same team that would have filmed moments like women's curling. <laughs> moments like this at the gold medal hockey game. Historic moments in time. They captured it and they broadcasted it. Now, normally when I give a talk, I like to sum it up in one picture. The picture is this, where I say, for the next however long, I'm going to take you on a fantastic journey, show you a whole new world of all the things that whatever I'm talking about is about. But now that I kind of have to speak for this whole conference, I had to modify it a bit. So we actually have 14 amazing speakers over the next two days. I think that's really, really awesome. Um, but if you're going to fly on this magic carpet, you do need to know some of the safety rules. In particular, 
Exits are located at the back in case of a fire. Exits are also located, yeah, so those doors there, those doors there, the stairs. Do not come this way, you will burn. So probably keep to this area. In case of the um, unlikely event of a water landing, life jackets are not under your seat, so you're on your own. Um, yeah, so what would a Swedish conference, or what would any sweet, anything Swedish be without a little do-it-yourself, build-it-yourself, right? So that's why we tried to figure out a new way that you could introduce yourself to other people, and that's introducing the namskylt, or name tag. Inside all of your bags, you'll find easy instructions on how to put it together. <laughs> Trust me, it, it looks a lot harder than it actually is. The actual difficult part is that when you have to hinge it onto your shirt, um, really make sure you hear the click. If you don't, it just falls right off. Uh, yeah, so that is pretty important. Um, once you're done with that, you can actually take this, um, there's like gold pens lying around, there's some stickers in your bag, you can then like pimp out your name tag, or you can even pimp out your laptop. So this is Johnny's laptop, he actually added all the faces of all the conference speakers. I think that's pretty cool. Way cooler than my idea, where I just took a bunch of Doug Crockford's face <laughs> and put it all over my name tag. So. My apologies, I think about a third of you will be missing this sticker from your bag. I spent a good part of the morning just going through it. But no matter what you do with your name tag or any pictures you take, NordicJS is the hashtag, so please share all you want. I want to see the craziest Doug Crockford sticker sculpture you can think of. And then also in your bag you're going to find some uh, drink tickets and your food ticket for tonight at the amazing party at Tregoden. So please remember, don't throw that out. You want to keep on to that. And you also have Wi-Fi. So if you haven't found it already, uh, the Wi-Fi is unprotected. It is at NordicJS. Um, that's pretty much it. I just want to mention about the schedule, though. So we actually did a really cool thing with the schedule this time. Rather than packing a whole bunch of speakers into like, small time slots, we gave a 30-minute time slot per speaker. And after, there's always going to be at least a 30-minute break. And I really want you to take advantage of that. So that means that after the talk is done, there actually won't be any questions on stage, because that's always a nuisance. Pass a mic, you can't hear what the question is. Please repeat it, whatever. The speakers are actually going to be out and about. They'll be interviewed briefly on that chair, lovely chair over there. And then afterwards, you can find them. Please chat. Please make best friends. It's going to be a really awesome conference. I do want to point out, though, that it's super, super, super important that everyone feels happy, comfortable, and safe during the entire conference. That means that we have a zero tolerance policy on any form of harassment. Now, if at any point you might be saying, mm, I don't know if what I'm about to say could offend someone, I have a trick for you. Don't say it, and then channel that thought into something controversial about JavaScript. So say something like, Angular JS is way better than Ember, or, Coffee script is the only script. And then you'll be surprised just how far those two sentences take you. <laughs> Great. Well, that's enough of me for right now. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for to hear from our keynote speaker. Some say that he's the most traveled speaker. By some, I mean Lanyard says so. He's an amazing developer, works at Mozilla, and I have the honor to present to you today Robert Nyman. Please give a huge round of applause for Robert Nyman.